Hi again, everyone. This is Ludwig, designer at Uno Platform, and we're going to talk about using page templates inside our Uno Platform Material Toolkit Figma file. So uh, you want to design a new project, and you've downloaded our Figma file. Uh, start by creating a new artboard to work in, or a new page. I'll call it My App. And from here, in the Assets panel, um, I'll find that all of the uh, components and templates from the design system are here categorized so I can browse through the list or I can use the search feature and look for a page template, which is where all of your designs should start. So the page template is a special component um, because it's meant to house other components and uh, it has a, a rule that you have to remember uh, is that to use it, you must detach it, uh, while all other components in our design system must not be detached. <laughs> and to help you remember, uh, we've actually named the layer, uh, standard page template, select properties, and detach me. So I'm going to go ahead and select my properties. Uh, I'll choose an Android style, and I'll go with a uh, bottom navigation and a top nav bar. And now I'm ready to uh, detach, so I'm going to... Uh, Control click, sorry, uh, I get the contextual menu here and select detach instance. Now this is the critical step, detaching the page template. I'll rename it, no particular reason except I like to be neat. So page, and now I can explore the layers here. Um, notice that we have a status bar, a bottom bar, and they're outside of the body layer. And there's a good reason for that. Anything outside of the body layer will not be rendered by our CoGen plugin. So uh, everything you design must be housed inside here. You'll notice the tab bar appears, and uh, we have our page. And inside the page, we'll find the nav bar that's here. And we have a content scrollable area. If I zoom in, you'll see we have these placeholders uh, that are just to illustrate um, that you could have content here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these. And I'm going to start a design uh, looking through my assets. Uh, I will say I'm going to build a form. So use uh, headline, we'll call it form. That could be called my app. Scroll out a bit so you guys can see what's going on. My form will have, let's say, um, name, text field. And I'll make that, oops, sorry. I'll make the entire component fill its container, and I'll add a password box. And I'll say password. And again, I want it to fill. Oops, sorry. And these forms tend to have legal checkbox, so legal. And let's add a confirmation button. And I'll say this button, I want it to follow the Material 3 uh, style for fill the buttons. And I'll have it fill the container. Now let's see what happens when I run the Uno you know plugin that you can find here. Uh, under the plugins tab and I'll do a little search. It's right here. So uh, to run the plugin, once you've found it, you just select an element and hit refresh. And we now have a preview, actually not a preview. We have a live running app, interactive of our design. And you can even export that in XAML, in C Sharp, actually export the entire code for it. And sometimes you get the impression looking at these templates that they're just for mobile. But if I stretch this out and refresh, you'll see that I can actually use any form factor uh, with this page template. Uh, of course, I'd want to redesign this <laughs> a bit better spacing usually. Uh, but uh, with what you've learned here today, you can go ahead and make beautiful designs of your own and export all of that code using our plugin and our Figma toolkit. And that